Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be looking at legit emails versus fake emails. So here's an example of a fake email. This is just another way to hack you guys. So how do you know if this is a legit email or a good email? Well up here it does say to and then says does say windows at update.com so you would assume it's real. However, you have to look at who it's from. So up here it does say email service, tap on email service. We're going to see actually the email it's coming up from this person. So that's not actually from Windows or anybody else or even the system itself. This could be anyone. Anybody can sign up for an email on MSN and just send you this. So this is that person. Maybe it's a person that's hacked. Maybe it's just a fake email. Who knows? However, this is one of those fake ones. So do not click on any links. If you see an email like this, or let's say it's from Amazon, always tap to see who it's actually from. Because the name itself, although it does say email service, it could say anything. It could say president of the United States. It could say the president of the world. It does not matter. It doesn't mean it's from that person. I do want to note that when you usually tap up there to see where who it's from, usually the emails are a little bit longer than that. So this fake one is from this person. However, usually the emails that they use are really, really, really long and really obscure. They're usually not MSN or anything like that. Usually when they're from Gmails or MSN or Hotmail, usually those are already hacked accounts that they're using in order to spam other people. And you guys see up here where it says to, that means they just send that email to those other addresses. Again, means nothing. So do not tap on any links. Usually what I recommend always is never tap on any links. Even if you see that a payment didn't go through or for a refund or anything like that, don't tap on any links, go into your actual account. So if it's Amazon, Apple, or anything like that, just go into your accounts and check if everything's good there. Because I've also gotten those fake emails saying that, oh, there was a purchase made with my Apple ID. I need, just need to click a link to get a refund if I didn't do that. Well, do not click on any links. Actually, you guys can go into your Apple ID, just log in through your computer and see if it was used anywhere. There you guys could see if it was real or not. Usually, again, once you guys tap up here to see where it's from, you will never see that it's from a legit source. So right now, I'm just gonna open up another email address, and this one is a real one. So this one does say Sony at email, and yes, it almost looks fake, I know, because this one's pretty long, but this is actually an email from PlayStation from Sony. So we do know that because it does say email.sonyentertainmentnetwork.com. Again, this one's pretty long, so you could be thinking, well, maybe this is fake too. But that's an example of a legit email. Now here's another example of another legit email. So this one's actually a little bit easier to see that's actually legit because it does say auto confirm at amazon.com. So this cannot be a fake email because it's coming exactly from amazon.com. So not anybody can just get this type of email. So again, the name can be anything. However, the email address where it's coming from, this one, for example, is a legit one. And for those of you who are looking into an Apple email, because those are going around as well a lot, uh, this is a real one, again. So it would be from at email.apple.com. Again, not anybody can just have this type of email, so that's how you know this is actually coming from Apple. Even though this is coming from Apple, I would still not click on any links. That's just my overall advice for any emails you're getting that you're not 100% sure about. But again, this would be a legit email because it's coming from a legit source. So there's also a lot of emails that are coming from UPS telling you that a package is waiting for you, click on a link. Well, that also you have to check and it should be coming from at ups.com. Again, not everybody can just have this email. So that's how you know it's a legit one. So this is at ups.com. That's how you know it's real. If you click on the name, you tap on the name and you see that it's coming from a really extensively long email or just a Gmail or Hotmail, that's a scam. Again, no need to click on any links if you're getting a package. You can even call UPS or email them to see if there's a package waiting for you. Now, just to show you another fake email, here's one. So we can see right away it's fake. Obviously, they didn't make the best effort to make this except for the Apple logo up there. However, again, you can just click on who it's from. It says Apple support, right? That's just the name. If we click on it, we can see that really extensively long email that has nothing to do with Apple. It does say at JHP something, something, something. It's a really, really long email. That's usually the more professional type of scams that are running out there. Again, they didn't do the greatest job on making this fake email. 
However, again, do not click on any links. If you get anything like this saying Apple ID is locked, just go ahead, log into your computer, see if you can log into your Apple ID. Do not click on any links if it's locked. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.